Hi everyone, Jean Lurson here. This week I thought I would share you how I use masking fluid and the different things that I use it for. And um, after trying many different brands, I find that this for me has been uh, the best one. It's called PBO Drawing Gum. Uh, one of the things that's really nice about it is that it's blue in color so when you put it down on the paper it's easy to see what you have masked out so i'm just going to do a little sketch basically to show you how i use it there's always links below my video to all the materials i use and where you can purchase them if i want to do something like if i'm doing a landscape and i want to do some grasses i will take my ruling pen and turn it down to almost touching so that I'll get some nice thin lines on my paper you see these are actually very thin I could even go a little bit thicker the beauty of masking fluid is if you make a mistake just wait for it to dry rub it off and start again so I just want to do a little sketch of uh, some wild grasses and the cow parsley that grows here in Marin which is actually quite poisonous and uh, apparently I've read is a is a problem for runners when they um, touch when it touches their skin uh, it can cause a, a, a really bad rash I'm going to widen this just a teeny bit one turn maybe and let's do let's do one quite tall one and I, you see I'm not um, paying a lot of attention to detail I'm doing it in the abstract which is how I like to do it and I think that's fine I'm going to wipe this off quickly before it dries on my um, ruling pen and get it out of the center with my nail uh, another thing I do if I want to splatter some some white uh, small white flowers perhaps or texture in the background you can take your uh, palette knife and just dip it in the in the masking fluid and we'll wait for that to dry and then I'll add some watercolors now I'm just going to throw in some colors Uh, I'm going to use two different greens again there's always a list below the video of the colors I use and I just took some of the the blue that I had up there and brought it down here because I didn't want it to just be in one place and it created a green um, maybe I should add some green in here before I let this dry I'm going to add some salt just to create some more texture now we'll just let it dry and then I'll remove the masking fluid I like the colors I must say um, after it was dry I removed the salt with my hand just rubbing it off and I have this special eraser for removing all of the um, masking fluid it really works well I used to use my hands before and it actually can be quite abrasive so this is just a little sketch to show you some of the ways that you can use masking fluid uh, another thing I did this was um, 
a, a little um, harsh so I just uh, took a wet brush and re-wet some of the background color uh, and let it flow into the white of the paper which just cre creates a softer look. That's another little trick that you can use. So as I said this is just a little sketch to demonstrate how I use masking fluid. So if you enjoyed this demonstration please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.